welcome back my friends to another youtube video today's topic is the type of people we meet are they good for you or are they negative do people come into your life to rise your vibrations or to keep you stuck in place or do they lower your vibrations for me it used to be to lower me and then some just came to keep me stuck others came to rise my vibrations but, in the end, when they pulled away, they kept me lower because I cherish all my friends who enter my life. If we connect and you leave, I will mourn that relationship closer. Three types of people, positive, balance, negativity, or to keep you stuck. People will come into your life to either rise you or to lower you or to keep you stuck. Once you figure this out, you can then move forward effortlessly, allowing things to be as they are, to know, to accept, and to flow. I have finally figured it out why people enter my life to thus make a connection only to disconnect. The game this virtual reality is trying to lower my vibrations by hurting my heart. It knows how to press my buttons. However, I always overcome that pain. I always get out of that depression and return to normal return to balance. I will never stop the work I am doing. I am here to help others remember. I show my higher knowledge, my higher wisdom. I will never stop doing this, no matter what and the universe needs to become aware of that and i know it, it is aware because i became aware of it if people constantly are negative you need to learn to disconnect from these people do not allow yourself to be their friends. Cut them out of your life. Even I know that is almost impossible if, for example, you live with them and you are aware that they are toxic. What can you do? Remember to heal your energies every day. Balance yourself, ground yourself. I know that the words can affect you as they have affected me to the point where I was in the fetal position crying my eyes out. Then I had no energy and I slept for three hours trying to fall asleep because I had no energy because of the argument. In that instance, 
all you can do is let the emotions flow through you. Like the ocean, turbulent waters, one will return to calm. You just have to allow it to become calm again. Allow things to flow. Do whatever you need to heal yourself. Give yourself a pep talk. Listen to music. Read anything to return to balance. For me, it was that three hour nap because I had no energy. I wanted to sleep. I wanted to die. However, my spirit guides came to me, talked to me, even if I was trying to push them away. They kept by my side no matter what. So I would eventually return to normal, to balance, to calm. My spirit guides know how to help me. If you have someone like that, talk to them. If you do not, talk aloud. Even that would help. And I used to do that too. Talk to myself to heal myself. I Even now I do that because I know I am calming myself. Knowing what is wrong. Then I just let it all out. And as I do that, I let go and return to balance. Return to calm. Whatever you need to do to heal yourself, find the tools. Remember how to heal yourself. No one can teach you this but yourself. And you will know what works and what doesn't as you journey on your path. No one can walk it for you but yourself. People can walk along with you, but never for you. I thank you for your time, and until we meet again, my friends.